Tina Moore was just eight years old when she first began craving toilet paper, and over the last 24 years, she's eaten up to four rolls a day. Keena was diagnosed with PICA, an eating disorder where someone eats non-food substances and is trying to overcome this condition as it poses serious risks to her health. And Keena joins us live from Baltimore alongside Dr Sara in the studio who's going to tell us more on this. Now, good morning to you both. Good morning. Um, now, your first good thing morning. you think is you, you've been eating toilet paper and you think, you know, how, how would you even know that you like toilet paper in the first place? How did, how did you get to eating toilet paper and when did it all begin? Um, it began when I was about eight years old. Um, it started off with like things like baking soda or like baking powder, like, and I don't know, one day, I don't know what possessed me to try toilet paper. One day I just tried the toilet paper and it was just, it was my thing. I just knew it was my thing. It was something about the texture, like everything else, like the bacon soda, it dissolved too fast. The bacon powder was too fizzy. And the toilet paper is just like, it sticks. I don't know. I can't, so <laughs> I can't this, explain it. We, it just we, stuck with we're me. We're just watching a little clip as you're talking, Kena, of you, of you eating, um, toilet roll now is this something that sort of is like a curiosity as a child do you know like when you know I have three young children and sometimes they're curious to touch things to maybe put something in their mouth that they shouldn't do when they're when they're little ones did it start right. did it start as like a curiosity or a craving a need to eat the toilet paper I believe it was a craving actually it, I think it actually was a craving because okay. I used to crave a bunch of different things. Actually, my great-grandmother, she used to eat flour. So it was like, I don't know, it was, it was just a craving that I had. And I know, like, everything else dissolved too fast. The toilet paper was like, I don't know, it was like a cotton candy that doesn't melt. So it was, like, perfect. <laughs> it sounds like it runs in the family, like your grandma was on the flour. Does, is anybody else um, got this peak of condition in your family? Yeah, um, my mom has it and my sister has it, but I think I have it the worst. <laughs> and does it, like, instantly my brain goes, you know, it looks, you're eating it and you, you, watching you eat it, I mean, it looks like it's delicious, but to me, it feels like it, it would be the is. driest, odd sensation. Does it, does it give you a tummy ache? Does it make you feel a little odd? No, um, but it actually does taste really good. Um, just, I don't know, you just got to try it. <laughs> you just have to try it to understand where I'm coming from. But um, no, it doesn't, like, give me a tummy ache. Like, I feel fine after I eat it. Sometimes, like, if I eat way too much, I'll be full for, like, hours at a time. But I haven't had any issues at all. I mean... Obviously, um, Keena's saying she hasn't had any issues, but Dr. Sara, this is quite serious, isn't it? We shouldn't be trying toilet paper after watching this. Uh, Pika is a condition for most people, they'll, they'll eat, you know, harmless things. And uh, maybe ice, that's a really common one. You know, pregnant women mm. munching on ice, people with iron deficiency, some, things like that. But for some, they'll, con they'll consume things that are more harmful or more toxic. And often, um, it doesn't ever get revealed to friends and family that they have PICA until there are medical consequences, you know, toxicity, infections, teeth becoming cracked. Now, in terms of toilet paper or paper itself, um, that's known as xylophagia. And the problem with uh, toilet paper and paper is that it's not easily digested by our bodies. And so it can cause blockages within our digestive tracts. It can lead to stomach pains, blood in your stool, um, it can lead to vomiting, constipation, and in you know, severe cases, can even require surgical intervention. Oh, wow. But Keena, I will say Keena does actually look glowing. You wouldn't ever believe I... that you're on a diet, diet of toilet paper. I know, I, I know. How much are you eating a day? It can get pretty obsessive. Um, actually, um, I have some news, I am pregnant. Aww, so, I have like, cut back Thank you. I, I cut back a lot. Like, if I get a really bad craving, I'll, like, 
chew it up and just spit it out, even though I know that's still not good. I try to take as many iron supplements as I can, like my prenatals and everything, and I still get cravings, but um, I cut back a lot since the baby, and it just it hurts my heart because I want it every day so much. Prior to the baby? So I don't know, it might get worse. Prior to being pregnant. Oh, prior to the baby. Yeah. How? How? Like, are we talking oh, like yeah. you eat a roll at a time, or like, what? What? What's like a big day? Um, a good day. Um, I get my thousand sheets and just sometimes I like I'll look up and I'll be like two, three rolls in, and it's like from eight o'clock to like seven p.m. Wow. And I'm just like munching, like. It, it can get pretty obsessive. It two, can get three pretty rolls obsessive. a day. Two, two, three rolls a day. That is, <laughs> that is a lot of toilet paper. Um, Dr. Sara, what impact can that amount of toilet paper? I know she's not eating that much now, but what impact can that have on on the baby? You know, Keena's pregnant at the moment. Well, I, I think um, primarily, if you are eating uh, large amounts, it may replace other nutritious food, and your worry is that you could develop a deficiency yeah. in, in nutrients, as well as obviously, as I was saying, the, the blockage within your digestive tract and then the potential risks that that would have. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's, it's reassuring that she's taking her prenatal supplements and things like that to try and counteract that. But, I, you know, I, I would worry about uh, a pregnancy if you're consuming too much. Mm -hmm. And is this something that, like, obviously you're pregnant, I'm not sure if you are with your partner, or but dating and relationships, is that quite a difficult thing to introduce? Would you find yourself sort of, when you first meet someone, like, eating it in secret? Or how does that look? Definitely in secret for a very long time, which is why my ex-fiance didn't know about it for a while. I kind of surprised them with it because people are so judgmental and I just mm -hmm. don't, I'd rather not, you know, it, I'd rather not. If you catch me, you catch me. Right. But it's just gonna be, a, a, it's gonna be my thing that I do in secret. And is there a certain type of toilet paper that does it for you? Definitely, Scott, a thousand sheets. The one ply, this just perfect, that's perfect. Sometimes I don't even buy it because I know I'll eat it. I'll buy other different brands of toilet paper because I don't, I don't eat those, I only eat Scott. Okay. Yeah, I don't well, think we got go. that, have we? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think <laughs> we got that in the UK. Um, and Sarah, just, just a final word from you. You know, this isn't, this isn't something that we want to endorse or promote. Obviously, um, Kina has PICA and there's a condition behind why this is happening. We shouldn't be watching this and thinking, actually, that's quite a good idea to get a thousand sheets and... No, there are often, as you say, conditions that underlie it. We know that um, some people who have it are at higher risk of mental health conditions like OCD, developmental um, issues like autism. Um, it's higher in people with deficiencies like iron and zinc. Um, and it's essentially a form of an eating disorder. So it's not mm -hmm. something that, you know, it, it's, it's not something we should be judgmental about, as, no. as you've mentioned, and it's not something that we should laugh about necessarily. Um, it's something we should try and support our Absolutely. patients. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Kina, thank you so much for joining us and good yes. luck with your baby. Good luck with the baby. Thank you. Very oh, special chapter me. incoming. No, thank you. Oh, you learn something new every day. Yeah, yeah. Okay.